The second video I posted on my YouTube channel was of my Urban Altoid Survival Tin. It's been a long time since posting that video and this tin has gone through a lot of different revisions. So I thought it'd be a good time to do an updated video. We'll call this one Urban Altoid Survival Tin version 2.0. In the previous video, I talked about some of the differences between having an urban Altoid survival tin versus a rural Altoid survival tin. So this is more of a tin that would be useful if you're out in the Amazon or out in the wild and you need some very specific items to survive with. You'll want to have items such as maybe a compass, uh, a fire steel uh, for those rare times that you might find a can of chili while you're in the Amazon. You want to have a can opener and maybe some fishing line. So all very useful items to have in that kind of survival situation, but maybe not as useful if you're in the city like me. So, you know, I'm going to be closer to a Starbucks than I am going to be to a river. So I wanted to have some very specific items in my Urban Altoid Survival Tin. So for this video, let's go through all the items that I have in version 2.0 of this tin. And I have also made a PDF document, which you could download below in the description box, which has a list of all the items that are included in this tin, uh, where I purchased them at, uh, the type of item that they are, the quantity, the weight, and the cost. So let's get started going through the Urban Altoid Survival Tin version 2.0. Before going through all the items in the Urban Altoid Survival Tin, let's do a quick weigh-in to see how much it weighs. So let's put it on the scale here. So it weighs uh, 7.4 ounces, which is 210 grams. As you can see, this is your standard peppermint Altoids tin. It's not anything like the County Com tin, which you see here, which is actually a thicker tin, and it's quite unique looking. I wanted something that was you know, more discreet. It would blend in in a crowd. No one's going to question you opening up an Altoids tin. So as you can see, I do have some items in here, but it doesn't open up because of the items. So to make it do that, I actually attached a little bit of Velcro here. So I have a very little thin line of Velcro with the lid to make it so it sticks a little bit more. So I added that little feature on here. You know, it's not the best thing, but it works for me. So before actually opening up, I wanted to show you on the bottom of it, I have a little device here. So <laughs> what I have is this is made by Image Reflector. This is just a little wallet size credit card mirror. And so I wanted to have a mirror with me just because I find that it's quite useful to have in various situations to have a mirror. If you wanted to, you could, I guess you could use this for signaling, uh, but for me, it's more for, you know, hygiene type mirror. So I found that I always wanted to have a mirror with me and I have some little uh, Velcro, very thin Velcro here on the base of it. So that's just, that's the first item, the image reflector credit card size mirror. So let's open up this tin and get started. The first thing I see when I open up my survival tin is a picture of Baby Prepper. They always talk about having the will to survive. So in a survival situation for me, the first thing I want to see is Baby Prepper there. So it kind of, kind of helps brighten your day. So, uh, but looking here on the top, I also have some emergency numbers. So just in case my cell phone were to die, I want to have some emergency numbers handy that I could use. So what I have listed in mind, this is uh, attached using some double side tape, by the way. I have uh, my auto insurance number, the number to highway assistance, to AAA, to the Washington Poison Center, the non-emergency number for the police department, non-emergency number for the fire department, of course I know that 911 is the emergency number, uh, the American Red Cross, earthquake information hotline, emergency management station for King County, and then also the number for FEMA. So I have all of those numbers listed on here, and I have it for both the Seattle area code and then also for Tacoma area code. So basically Western Washington. So let's continue going through the items that you see in the Urban Altoid Survival Tin. After you take out the photo of Baby Prepper, you have the main items of the Urban Altoid Survival Tin. So let's start going through all of them right now. So the first thing you see here at the top, I have two quarters. And just in case I need to have some quarters, maybe for a parking meter, for example. And they're wrapped in a little bit of gaffer's tape. So speaking of gaffer's tape, I have 14 inches of gaffer's tape wrapped around this little cut up piece of an old credit card. And I choose gaffer's tape over duct tape just because it's meant more for temporary, you know, taping of items. So it doesn't leave any kind of gooey uh, residue on whatever you're attaching it to. I find that with Gorilla tape, with duct tape, you know, when you put that stuff on, it's going to be locked on there. It's more of a permanent fix to something that broke versus gaffer's tape, which is still quite strong, but you could still remove it quite easily and it doesn't leave any kind of a stickiness to whatever you put it on. So 14 inches of gaffer's tape. 
Next, these I have a little set of tweezers. These are made by, these are Uncle Bill's Sliver Gripper Tweezers. You've seen these a lot probably on YouTube, on a USNER Docs AMP3 project. I think he includes these as well. They're a very nice set of tweezers. And I find, <laughs> it's kind of weird, but the older you get, the more I find I have random hairs popping up all over the place. So whether that be nose hairs or ear hairs, or you don't want to know what else hairs, I want to have some tweezers on me at all times. And I find that I use them quite a bit. I do have some backup tweezers on here, but these are a much more high quality uh, set of tweezers that you could use for various things. So some Uncle Bill's Sliver Gripper tweezers. Uh, moving on forward, let's go here. So I also have, these are some nail clippers. These are the Zwilling J.A. Henkel's Pore Home Ultra Slim Nail Clippers. They're very cool design nail clippers, as you can see. They collapse very, they're very thin, very lightweight, very unique design to them. And so I like having some nail clippers with me at all times. So there we got those. Let's keep going down in here. I have one stick of Wrigley's gum. Uh, not much to say about that, just like having some gum with me to keep the, the breath fresh. Let's keep moving down in here. Let's see, Let's see if I can get this out. This is a USB thumb drive. It's a very small thumb drive. This is the verbatim 16 gigabyte tough and tiny flash drive. So it's a USB 2.0. There you go. It's very thin as you can see. When you're looking at it compared to the nail clippers, that's also thin. So it's just a very small, lightweight, thin uh, USB thumb drive. I like having thumb drives with me at all times. So let's have that included. Let's continue on. This is made by True Utility. This is the True Utility Telepen Telescopic Pen. So this pen you know, opens up like that, so you always have a pen with you. I also carry a main pen in my pocket, but just in case I don't have that with me, I have this backup pen. So again, this is made by True Utility. Next, I have a whistle. And while I don't use this too often, it's very small. It's the same whistle I have on my keychain. This is the four sevens a titanium whistle. It's over 100 dec uh, decibels. Very loud whistle. I don't want to blow it right now, uh, but very nice, thin, lightweight whistle. Next, as you've probably seen, I have some toothpicks. So I have two toothpicks right here. Forward. So I also carry the Leatherman Micra multi-tool. So I wanted to have some kind of multi-tool, and instead of having the pliers, I like having scissors with me. I find that in an urban environment, I use scissors much more often than I use pliers. And they're, they have actually a real nice set of scissors on these. And it also comes with various other tools, uh, besides the tweezers that you see here. You have some different kind of screws, flathead screws. You have a, a blade, a very small blade. It's a very thin, thin screw as well. Uh, bottle opener. I think you have a file, here's the blade on there. So it gives you a lot of different options. The main thing that I like using with it is the scissors. But this is the Leatherman Micra multi-tool. Let's continue on. This is a this is a little lighter. This is the Split P lighter. It's made by Countycom. It's a very cool very small, lightweight, stainless steel, uh, portable lighter, and it's, it's just a very nice one to have. So it's made by Countycom, Split P. All right, now what you see here, no, this is not silver uh, bullion bars or anything like that. These are also made by uh, Countycom. These are the Countycom mini tins. And I actually have these as little separate compartments to some other items. So let's go over some of those items. I have them labeled as well. So I have a pills compartment. This is, I guess we'll call it a, a micro compartment and then also a tools micro compartment. So let's go through some of the items that we have in here right now. We'll start off first with the pills. Let's go through all the items that I carry in my little pills micro compartment. So opening it up, I have a few little pills in here. Uh, starting off, I have six Motrin pills just for pain management. So six of those. Next, oftentimes in an urban environment, the biggest emergency I'm ever going to run into is if you have a case of diarrhea. So I wanted to have some anti-diarrhea medication. So this is Imodium AD and I carry three of them with me. Next, you might notice a little blue pill in here. No, it's not that pill that you're thinking of. This is for heartburn. This is Zantac 150 Max. Uh, so just in case I happen to eat some fried food and try to go to bed extremely late at night, uh, you don't want to have any kind of heartburn. So I have that. 
And then also when I'm traveling, sometimes I like having some Tylenol PM uh, just to help me sleep, if, um, especially if I'm in a different time zone. And then last that you see in here are these square white pills. I just carry three of the Altoid mini mints. So these are not um, any kind of medication, they're just mints that I have, I like to keep the breath fresh. And those are all the items that I carry in my pills micro compartment. Let's go through all the items that I carry in my little tools micro compartment. So let's open it up. It'll probably be easier just to drop, drop all these out on the table. So let me just put them out there. Uh, so the item that you see on the back here, I have one razor blade. I also have three matches. You have to kind of cut these up to make it fit into the mini tin. And then the striker for those matches I put on the lid. So three matches. I also have one half of a Q-tip. Yeah, the half's cut off as you can see. I have two paper clips, one large, one small. So if I could grab it, two paper clips. I also have two safety pins, one large one, one small one. I have two needles. One black hairband. One rubber band. And then I have three of the refills for the True Utility telescoping pen. And those are all the items that I carry in my little tools micro compartment. All right, moving forward with the items in the main part of the tin, I have one Band-Aid with me. So I only carry one because I usually always have uh, a mini medi with me as well, uh, but I want to just have one backup one just in case. And also here, coming towards the bottom now. I have three of these little sheets of Write and Rain paper. And I have them on the bottom because I don't often use them. I have a notepad with me usually. Uh, but just in case I need to have some paper, I have those stored at the bottom. I also like having them there so when I open it up, uh, the paper doesn't fly all over the place when I open up the tin. Uh, for an urban environment, I find that it's always handy to have some cash with you. I've tried doing smaller denominations. I just have 120 with me. I've also tried using something like the little $20 Visa gift cards. I find that having a $20 bill is the most useful uh, for my situations. And then la lastly, I have, well, actually I have two more items in here. <laughs> uh, this item that you see here kind of goes along with the, one of the items that I carry in my pills micro compartment and that's the anti-diarrhea medicine. If you're going to go into someone's house and if you happen to have diarrhea, a good thing to also have is just a little bit of incense with you. Especially when you tie it in to the matches that I also have in the tools compartment, you light a match, Put a little bit of this incense, which I, which I cut up so it would fit inside of the tin, and you kind of you know help them, you know, not have to endure too much of uh, the diarrhea that you might have. So one little stick of incense, and then lastly, I just have a little sewing needle in there with some Kevlar thread, and it's, I just have two feet of it. And I got that Kevlar thread. It's kind of hard to find. You can't find it at most stores, but I have this from the Adventure Survival Life, just a survival sewing and repair kit that I have. So I have two feet of Kevlar thread. That's going to do it for this video featuring version 2.0 of my Urban Altoid Survival Tin. I find that all the items that I carry with mine are quite handy for me to have in an urban environment. Please feel free to leave any kind of comments below in the comment section. And then also for those of you interested, you could download the PDF document, which is also available in the description box below. Talk to you guys later.